like you're not talking he's like and eh, not not really we're not we didn't talk that much <laughs> but anyways very interesting to to hear how how you guys were using these ideas uh, very 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 cool and yes i definitely agree that hope is highly underappreciated like I mean, I mean, I should mention, I mean, one of the things that Hope had going for it is that, uh, if I can reach up, right, is that one of the great books on functional programming uses Hope, right? And that Ooh, is from the mid-80s. Cool. Uh, wow. So this, this book right there is still one of my favorite books on functional programming. Let me, let me see it again uh, for the people uh, who are listening. Functional programming by, by Tony Field and Peter Harrison. There you go. So Thank you. And I... The, and many years later, as I was working with Active Group on an EU grant application, I had the ple pleasure of sort of accidentally meeting uh, Tony Field uh, at uh, at Imperial. That was a great pleasure to then say, "Well, okay, I remember, uh, I remember your book, uh, okay. even though it was over 25 years later." I don't know much about 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 Lisp-like languages. I never worked too much or looked too much into it. So, mm -hmm. what's the idea of of scheme uh, coming out of of Lisp? Like, what is the kind of like the problem they're trying to solve? Like, what is what is the reason of being of scheme? Well, so I mean, when Lisp came out originally, I'll try to make this short. Of course, I mean, Lisp came out in the last in the late fifties, and uh, I mean, it was ostensibly based on the lambda calculus. Uh, but uh, the, I mean, there was a, a famous bug in the implementation, if you will, and that the early versions of Lisp, or not just the early versions, but, but sort of original Lisp used something called dynamic scoping, 